Okay guys, um, been waiting for this for a long time. Welcome to Dragon's Garage. I uh, got my 1978 Toyota Hilux pickup, Bessie. And what I'm doing today is what I call a brake tune-up. <laughs> I've had this one front brake squeaking like crazy for a while. And uh, I got these cheap brake pads from Advanced Auto or somewhere, I can't remember now. And uh, basically it's a, it's a two-part. It's the truck's fault just for its old brake system. And also... Um, what I found was they're just they're just cruddy and stuff and uh, anyway so basically the one front brake has been grabbing so much it's uh, it's kind of squeaking so let me show you what I'm talking about and what I'm doing to rectify it um, you see these two pins here okay you see how one's shiny and one's dirty well they were all like that dirty rusty looking pin and um, so I'm taking those pins I already did the other side but there's before on the left and after on the right. Basically, you guys, um, what it is, um, bear with me because anytime I try to do this with one hand, it doesn't work real well. Sorry about it wobbling. Uh, these brakes are pretty simple. Um, brake pad goes in here like so. This one would go in like so. Of course, it's right now it's cockeyed because I got it loose. Um, and then the pin would slide through the hole, go through the brake pad into the other side. Of course, it would go all the way in like that. And then inside of there then is this little, is that little hole. And you put, just put a little tiny cotter pin in there. Um, kind of like this one, but I got new ones for it up on the shelf there. But yeah, it just goes in there and then you bend it over and that's what holds them in. Then when you want to replace them, you just pull them pin, the cotter pin out. And then you just pull this pin out, and then your brake pad comes out. Of course, like I said, right now I got it loose. Then your brake pad pops out. Uh, there's a spring on it. I'll show you on the other side. Um, this side, the spring broke. So that's another reason why it's squealing. I just already did this side um, just a little while ago. So, yeah, you see how I got it. Brake pads are great, but they only been only one pad's been working. And it happens to be this one, which was on the other side but I just flipped it from that side to here and it was over on this side so I put it on this side basically this piston is the only one that's been working on the other side because um, you know just just the way it's old and the brake pads were grabbing this pin and they weren't sliding back and forth like they should have so you got to keep that stuff um, real clean um, see my I had these really long <laughs> cotter pins so I just got them bent up in there it works good but see that little spring that little clip that keeps them from clacking and carrying on well it was cracked on the other side and broke so I got to get one of those but for now I'm gonna I'll fix something up so yeah that side's done and then I um for that poor thing she needs some attention and then of course I put some of this uh brake clean on there sprayed it up real good so that should take care of it before I left I had scuffed these rotors up really good they're they're um they got a little bit of wear on them, and they, you know, and they need to be replaced. Um, I re kind of resurfaced them, re <laughs> excuse me, resurfaced them before I left manually with with some scuff pads and stuff just to kind of get some texture on them. But of course, uh, you know, that's that's been a little while ago, and they they kind of got smoothed off again. So this is the side that's been squeaking. Like I say, it's only been one brake pad stopping the front. Um, the other side was barely working unless you really jammed it and just the inside piece there <laughs> like my fingers um, the inside um, Piston was the only one that was really pushing the outside has been kind of Sticking and the fluid hits the other one first. So that's the one that pops out So that's just because they're they're older brakes. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna kind of cut it short so I can get it uploaded. I just got to finish cleaning this pin up So it looks like that shiny pin and put everything back together and uh, I, like I say I swapped the brake pads from one side to the other and I swapped the inside for the outside and vice versa and we're going to get her back in shape so anyway yeah I got her I don't have a whole lot of my old tools like I had in my other shop so I'm using cinder blocks and four by fours and everything else here <laughs> to do the job but yeah this is um, Bessie and and Dragon's new garage um, there's a lot of stuff left from the people that was previously here, I gotta get all that straightened up. Um, over there under the covers, the VFR, and there's my toolbox, just everything's kinda temporary. 
and this is just like a bunch of their junk and trash but yeah it's pretty big garage but uh, you're gonna see a lot of videos coming out of here soon because uh, this is where I live now and uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about then please check out the other videos um, so you can get caught up to date here so anyway hope that helps if anybody's got a brake issue or something but um, so that's the update on uh, 1978 Toyota Hilux pickup Bessie. Dragon says, stay cool. Peace out.